On today's episode of Moto Cheese. What are we doing today in Cheesy's Garage? It's the Real Link Argus Track. Wire free battery camera, dual objectivity, pan, tilt, and zoom. The Real Link Solar Panel 2 included. In the camera box, you have a mounting template, surveillance sticker, and a quick user guide. The mount, that's a little different. And the camera, which is also a little different. Looks like a nice loud speaker on the back. A strap if you prefer to strap it to a pole. Mounting hardware. Along with the hardware, they give you a little reset pin and a charging wire. You should definitely charge the camera before you install it. This supports 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. Of course, connect to 5 gigahertz since it's 4K for a higher data rate. You can set this up on a PC if you'd like. I have the app on my PC so I can watch all my real link cameras and the app works excellent. The micro SD slot is behind these two screws, 128 gigabytes maximum. As you can see there's no external antennas, dual lenses, one's a wide angle lens, one's a telephoto lens, comes with a two year limited warranty. Let's open this cover up. There's your on off switch and your SD card, which is not supplied. We'll put a 64 gig card in there. And power it on so we can connect it to our phone. Welcome to Reolink. Camera setup is super simple Android or iPhone. Just install the app, follow the instructions, and you're set up. I already have the app, so we will install it. Welcome to Reolink. Please install Reolink app and scan the QR code on the camera. Configure the Wi-Fi. App installieren und den QR code auf der Kamera scannen. Bienvenue à Reolink. I've heard the voice. Si prega di installare l'app Reolink e scansionare il codice QR sulla televisione. Benvenuto a Reolink. Por favor. In Camera is connecting to your router. Please wait. Wait for the succeeded router connection. Connection to the router succeeded. Welcome to Reolink. Create a device password. Name your device. Shows you what you should avoid. Initialization finished. So we're going to do some live viewing through the app. That's live viewing. It's nice because you can set your speed. As you know, on some of these cameras, they're way too fast for the pan feature. This seems to be set at a decent rate. We'll check the settings. The battery's at 58%. You have your display. Audio settings. That was the alarm feature. Your light settings. Motion sensors for sensitivity. Alarm detection, you can set your zone, you can paint the area or erase the area for each object, person, vehicle, animal, or others. You have your object size, you can set. Auto tracking, which we will turn on. It says digital tracking, but we'll do pan tilt tracking first. Tracking range. We'll let it go all the way as far as it'll go, which it looks like it is. Camera recording, which is on. Post recording is eight seconds, which is nice, because a lot of them will come on when it sees motion and you'll miss 
half of the motion or the car that's going by or person. Push notifications are off, but you can turn them on. You can do email alerts, which is nice. Now in your email settings, you can actually set it to do text with pictures, text with videos, which is what I like. So you get a short video in your email. You can do FTP settings if you'd like. And your siren settings. So if it has a siren, if it sees motion, which would be like a warehouse where no one should be. And you could set times. And of course you could share your camera. You can do time lapse. And there's some advanced settings in here. And that's about it. Let's get it mounted. So let's get this weatherproof door set up and then we will mount it. But first let's see what solar panel they provided. Nice size solar panel. It's a 6 volt 5.8 watt. Good size. A nice long stem. An adapter if your camera is not USB-C it'll change it to a USB micro. Mounting base and a strap if you decide to use it on a pole and not want to screw it. I decided to mount it to this tree here because it has a nice view of my garage, my water pump, and my house. We'll hook up our camera first, which you put screwed in. <laughs> it's watching me already. Lock it in place with this little screw. Now we'll hook up our solar panel. You're going to want a Decent southern exposure. You're gonna have to look at your area to see what to tip it at. This, I believe, is about 35 degrees down in Florida. And we'll plug in our solar power here. It's a pretty tight fit. Make sure it's all the way in. That's what she said. <clears throat> Make sure your solar panel is high enough that it doesn't interfere with your camera view. So we're gonna check that right now. You can play this over cellular, of course. Now you can click here to do your monitor point, how long you want it to stay. Click auto return to monitor point so it stays there, but if it finds motion, it'll follow. And alert. You can check your signal strength here through the Wi-Fi. Well, pretty full. 5G. You can do a Wi-Fi speed test here, too. So that's about it. And as you can see, it's at 67% now, charging. See that little solar indicator there. So we are set. Let's see how this thing works and what the videos look like. The microphone and the real link cameras are excellent. You hear I'm talking in the garage and you can hear me all the way in here? I don't know if you can see me. Hey! Hey! I mean, they're excellent excellent microphones best of all i've tested now from here you can put the alarm huh, pretty loud and you can also turn on the light you can do dual view and day and night mode which is set to auto Wow, that's picking me up, and I'm a good 40, 50 feet away in my garage. Let's see if we can zoom up so you can see exactly where I am. Now that's all the way up, so I should mount this camera a little higher. I'm going to probably go 10 feet, 12 feet. Yeah, because that's as high as it goes. This did not show proper height to mount this, but I will figure it out. Probably 10 feet, I'll try. So that being up there about 10 feet high, is actually a better view on this camera since the base has a little bit of a tilt. So we'll do that one right about there. Let's see how that works. This also does have a talk feature. Everything's 
the back of the kennel. You'll see when you watch the video on that. This base has an angle on it, so when the camera turns, it'll actually keep everything tipped. So I'm gonna see if I can shim this up to go level on the bottom. See how that works. Shim that up so it's level now. Let's see if it's cocking the video now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.